hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project order management system and i have developed this project in angular and uh, spring boot and uh, database i am using the mysql so uh, angular version i am using the angular version 7 and uh, uh, for a spring boot development i have used spring boot tool suits right let me show you so this is the spring boot tool suits which you can download from the internet and these all are the packages i had developed in spring boot right so you can see these are the packages available here right so these are the models these are the repositories right so these all things i have developed in spring boot and database i am using the mysql and you can see this is the maven repository right and this is the maven dependency and for running this project you need to import the code in the spring boot tool suits and after that you can run it you can see this project is running here right for angular development i have used uh, angular uh, and visual studio code for angular development so these are the files for all of the anglers you can see these all are the apps right and for running this i am using uh, terminal so now i'm using the ng serve command for running it you can see the code is running on the port 4200 right so uh, these all of the ids and the technology stacks i have used for developing this project this is a so the first thing uh, for backend side i have used spring boot and the mysql the id i'm using the spring boot tool suits and for front end development i have used the angular and for angular development i have used angular uh, visual studio code right so once you import this project and once you run this project then you will get this output so this is the output right i am logging out right so this is the home page of the project right and this is a login page without login you will not be able to access the internal pages right so this is the admin based system only there is no user there is no uh, other right there is only single user role based system that is a admin and admin can log in and admin can perform certain operations right so once you run this project and if you open this url on the browser then you will get this page right so the user id is amid that the red gmail.com and the password is test once you log inside the system then you will get this dashboard right you can perform these operations so let me go through one by one so this is a sales start so i will explain you this functionality later this is the order report all of the order which have been placed by the admin will be displayed here if you click on this arrow mark then you will be able to see all of the order items here this is a product report all of the product which you have added will be displayed here right you can edit and update the product from here <clears throat> right this is add product if you want to add new product then you will be able to add new product from here this is a product type and means category right this drop down value is coming from the database this is a company report it belongs to the product each and every product will belong to a company so this is a master data for the company you can edit and update the company report from here right if you want to add company then you can add the new company this is a category report from here you can add category of the product right and this category will be displayed in uh, the product form product drop down this is a category report this is a add category if you want to any if you want to add category then you will be able to add category from here this all forms are validated only for the blank field validation if you click on the submit then you can check the form is not getting submitted because it's blank now I am going to perform some of the sales operation. This is a start sales. This is a sales dashboard. For creating any of the orders, you need to enter the customer name first. So I am entering Jay Kumar and the customer contact number. So I am entering customer contact number. This is a start sales. Once you click on the start sales, then you will get the order ID, order date, customer name, and the customer mobile number. Right. And after that, this is a product you need to select the product here mustard oil and i am adding 10 quantity add once you click on that then you will be able to see the items has been added into in, added into the cart 
the price per unit is 150 dollars and total is 15. now this one close and add item so you can see the cost is getting calculated automatically according to the number of quantity if you want to delete any code just click on the delete that item will be deleted right if you want to add more items suppose i'm adding what it's silly <coughs> right this one and then this one <coughs> this four products i have added once you click on the add then so once you complete all of the order operations just click on the save sales details once you click on the save sales details then all of the details will be saved into the database so you can see this has been saved into the database and you can print the receipt from here right you can see order id order date time contact number each and everything is coming here and you can access it later also so order id is 100 once you click on the order report so this is the order id 100 once you click in this arrow then you will be able to see the history of that sales means how what items you have sold right so these all operations we are performing from the database so this all functionality i have developed and as i told you earlier this is a java spring boot and angular based application and mysql database i am using and this is a hibernate jpa project for id i am using the spring boot tool suits and visual studio code if you need extra functionality if you need more enhancement in this project just put it into the comments i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much